What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, haven't updated everyone on the Red Sea Reefer 350 and how it's doing. Um, the last couple of weeks, I've been buying GSP. Um, the original plan was to levitate the rocks. If you guys haven't watched the um, videos of the beginning of this build, I levitated all of the rocks up off the glass. And my original plan was to get these um, GSP, is short for Green Star Polyps, to kind of carpet the glass on the bottom. So once it's all grown in, my goal is to have the entire glass filled with green. So it looks like the rocks are just kind of sitting on top of a, a, a bed of grass. But the last couple of weeks I've been buying GSP from one of the local guys on offer up and I've been placing it throughout the tank. Now some of the pieces are big and I kind of put a dab of super glue and just pressed it down and you could see on the edge right there it's starting to encrust onto the glass and kind of spread out but the smaller pieces like this one right here it's having a hard time kind of attaching to the glass and I have my wave maker back there pulsing and at times this piece would be all the way at the end on this side so today um, instead of putting super glue on him and pressing him down I put a, a piece of tile on top of him just to press him down so they could get a hold hopefully it gets a hold and um, encrust on the glass from a couple weeks ago we got this Dory um, Blue Hippo Tang he or she is doing very well eats like a pig but this tank I originally wanted it to be an anemone only tank with a couple of t clowns I just wanted to house the two um, snowflakes in there but the third saddleback I got him in through live aquaria and when I tried to ma mate him up with another one in the lagoon 25 they were sparring and fighting all the time so I moved them in here and all four of these guys are getting along fine with the lawnmower blendy now today I went out and I've been finding a lot of good deals on um, offer up and I picked up these three bubble tip anemones. I'm not sure if it's rose or um, rainbow. I'm not really sure of the difference, but I, I gotta read up on it. If you guys know the difference between rose and rainbow, let me know in the comments below. My assumption is that rainbows have more colorations. And this one has green and red in there. So I'm not really sure if it's a rainbow or if it's a rose bubble tip anemone. But the seller, he's just selling it as anemone for 40 bucks each on offer up. And I made a deal to pick up three for a hundred bucks. So I drove down to pick them up today and I'm trying to get them acclimated. So with the anemones, I think you can plop and drop, but I think um, it's preferred that you drip acclimate. And instead of having this whole thing in a bucket and getting a line dripping through, I decided to just um, float the bag in here. I got it open and I got a pipette. And then every minute or so, I'm just gonna squeeze in some water slowly for an hour or two or maybe even longer and then two of the anemones it's attached to a rock a third one the seller he he removed it and i'm afraid that um his foot might be damaged or anything like that but he looks okay so i have him right on top of the rock so i'm hoping he attaches to the rock once i get everything acclimated i'm hoping to just to pull the rock off 
and placing it right here right in the center this center rock right here has a lot of little crevices and things like that that the anemone can um, kind of use its foot to grab a hold of as you can see I have a green one in there he's bubbling up for the first three weeks he pretty much hid down in the crevice and slowly but surely I'm seeing him come out all right guys so I have the three anemones in I have both of my wave makers off just to give them time to settle in and kind of find their place so two of the anemones were attached to the rock the third one the seller he kind of forced it off a rock um, I tried to get it to attach to the rock that he gave to me but it was still loose so I kind of stuffed them in that crevice right there with the wave makers off I'm hoping that he'll just take hold with his foot my main concern is that um, when I'm not home or when I'm away that he'll not be established and kind of just float off and he could just end up like upside down on the tank and that's how they kind of wilter and die away but um these guys are looking okay right now like two of them are plump the third one up top right there with a lot of the green he looks pretty sad but no <laughs> um be sure to like comment and subscribe i'll keep you guys updated with these three guys next week so stay tuned for more videos catch you guys on the next one bye